Hi everyone, in this video I would like to show how WPML automatic translation works. As I have talked in other videos, I have shown how the credits work, how WPML can be installed, and with the recent feature of the Translate Everything, if you don't really have to worry or want to worry that much about doing the, the work that requires to do the translation, you can set out the Translate Everything. But if you want to have a mix between manual and automatic translation, you can actually also set the translate sum. And in this way, you can have more control on the translations. But as of course, as any other manual work, this WPML way of translating WordPress will take a little bit more time. So if you're looking to save time and if you already want to use WPML, then the translate everything could be the better option. Also here, the translation editor, and it's already almost set by default to use the advanced translation editor. And this mainly just to mention is because that classic translation editor doesn't connect with the new automatic translation. So, or in case that by on configuration and you have to do some reset or work and wonder why the automatic translation is not working then just make sure that it's the advanced translation editor here for new translations and also for previously created classic translation editors. But mainly if you're using it by new, this will be almost uh, set by default. And also another important recommendation that I would like to do is about the URL. If you want to translate it by yourself, here I recommend to set it the translate. Otherwise, sometimes that translate, even for the auto generate from title, these parts, sometimes it won't translate it to the new language or the translation might not be as accurate or might not have the keyword that you're aiming for on the international market. So here, in this way, you will allow to do the translation from the translation editor. So this is another tip that I give so that you can do the translation. If we go to translation management and then to automatic translation, here we can start to see and have the setups of the automatic translation engines that we we'll, would we'll like to use. As I have previously talked in other video about the WPML credits and how they work, this table is sets you as reference of how much it will cost if you use in between of these thresholds the different amount of credits. So when we go here to the automatic translation engines, we can set up which engine we can actually use. So WPML in the last years, they recently added Deeple. If you don't know what's Deeple, Deeple it's a really good automatic translation engine that it's mainly focused on artificial intelligence, deep learning, machine learning, and it has really improved the qualities of the translation. So there are even many more new plugins that are coming out. Like we probably have, and I have talked already about Wiglot, Convey This, even translate press and the, even this last one has the integration with Deeple and the previously two, they do have a mix of the usage of Deeple translation. If you want to integrate Google translation, you can actually also set it on. And if you want to be Google as your main translation here in WPML, you must have it set as the first option here. If you have two or the three translation engines set up, how we will know which one will be the one that it will be used? Well, one is by the order, or the second option is if we go here to language mappings, we can see here which languages will be available for each translation engine. So in this case, for example, here for Chinese, we don't have Deeple. So Deeple, it's our first option and it's not available, then the second option will be the one to, to be chosen by the translation engine. So Google 
will be used to translate Chinese or here as well for Arabic, mainly in the cases of Google and Microsoft since, they're, since they have more languages, they're almost available in every single language. And in DeepL, they're mainly focused in fewer language, but honestly, it's really good and it's highly accurate. So this is that way. And uh, just by turning on this button, it's how we integrate Google and also even Microsoft. But as a high recommendation, Deeple, it's one of the best translation engines available so far. But I for sure, as, as technology keeps improving, we will, of course, see more alternatives, I do think, in the future. So once you have already this set up on your automatic translation, you have already also added your payment details, you can go directly to your post and select the language that you would like to translate to. So here, for example, I already have translated some of my content in really already in Spanish. So I will just select this post just to show how the automatic translation can be. And here is the translation editor, the advanced one. And if we already have some words or phrases that we will be keep repeating among and across the website, they will be already translated. So these credits won't be needed again. So it's kind of a saving on those credits. Up here, we can see how much credits this piece of content will require. In this case here, it states that the engine that it will be used for the automatic translation, it's Deeple. There are an amount of words of, in this case, 1,522, and they will be required 4,566 credits in this case. Here we can see the amount of credits that we have available. In case that you have a different threshold and a limit, that amount is the one that it will appear on your WordPress transla translation editor. And we can see here on the left side, the original language. And on the left, on the right side, here on the left side, we can see the original language and on the right side, the language that it will be translated to. In this case, it will be German. Also here, and as I mentioned, here we can see the URL. So if we want to do the translation manually or do some changes, we can actually do it. So let's show as an example. Here we can do a quick automatic translation. Okay, so here we have the translated version. I'm not fully convinced of it. Plus, I'm not really proficient in German, but I would like to keep it at VINE. Reiseblock starten. And this could be a better, or we can do the keyword research to know which could be a better phrase. So if there's a German speaker right now, you, you can even write down on the comments if I'm doing it right. But the one that it was before, and I will show it here, I'm not really convinced that this is a really good translation for this particular URL. So we can also actually see among the content. And if we save it here, it will be safe. But if we translate here, it's a totally different, as we can see, be mine and a rise of started. So it's a totally different translation as we have seen. I still keeping the copy paste. You can see here, it's not the same. And the, this first one looks better or has the one that I changed. So that's the thing with the automatic translation to be aware of that even, especially for the URLs logs, since they are connected via a, a hyphen. So translations might not be, be that accurate for the URLs. And that's also, I would recommend better to have this mix of manual and automatic translation so that you can do that fixes or that manual changes that the automatic translation might miss. So 
we have here the full content and another recommendation that I will do it's also for images for example here there are down below sometimes we won't have the need of doing the exact translations of the alt texts or the title of the captions that this will consume some credits so if we if we go here and use the already pre-installed depot we can just control c and just copy or go directly to depot and copy paste and this will help you in these cases that we this is not the main content like the actual visual content the for example the titles of the images the caption the description the yes they the alt text is important so that it's kind of related with via text the image so it can be read especially for search crawlers but as i mentioned try to do it this manually or with the help of people of the or other translations so that you actually don't use that credits on that content that it's not really the main content so let's say that we are fine and we just want to translate it here we have checked words or phrases that we can do it manually we can go one by one to check out the automatic translations just by hitting this flash button and it will be translated as you can see here these ones if they repeat it they will also we just copy here and they are basically the same so you can also save some credits if there's are some content repeated just by checking the save and in that case that we just want to do the automatic translation without that too much hassle then we just translate automatically and wait for it and once it's done we will have the content we just hit the complete and review translation and we just wait a bit so that the automatic translation is saved so once it's saved we can go and check out the page uh, depending on how you have the translation language switcher you can actually see now available the language which you translated to and as we can see here we have that content translated automatically in German. So as we can see here, we already have that translated content, but here we have in the right side uh, an English, let's say, image. We have here the text in English. In the case that you want to translate also the, the visual content, either videos, or also in this case images we can go here to WPML and we will have to have set up the media translation we can search for the image here we have the image and here as you can see there will be the pencils so this means that for each language, so in this case French or here in German, that is our example, we will have to hit the pencil button and upload the image that it's corresponding. And after selecting the image, I will just save it. And it will just, in case that the notice of scan and replace will just be hit it again and the media should be now in German. So this is a way also to translate the media. We go back here. In case there is a cache problem, you will have to flush the cache. And we have it here now. So now we have text translated and also the image translation. 
So this was the WPML automatic translation. As you have seen, it doesn't take too much time. It depends on what you will choose, even the translate everything or the translate some. WPML is uh, one that I highly recommend, especially for content websites. As there are new plugins, as I mentioned, like Wiglot or Linguist, they are based on, on the number of words that you will have. So as you, more words, you will require higher plans. And with WPML, there is not that much of a limit. It's mainly of deciding when to use the credits, when not. So that's also, uh, you have a better control. But in the case of Wiglot or Convey This, it's even faster that translation doesn't take too much time or you don't have to be checking. Also now with the translate everything. So it's a matter of what are your, actually your needs. If you have some question, if you're doubting which is the best option for you, don't hesitate to write down. I can help you and guide you to decide which is the best translation plugin for WordPress. As you have seen here in my own website, I use WPML because of that, of the content. And also now because it has that connection and integration with Deeple, which is, makes even better that translation. I hope that this video helped you. If you have some questions, some comments, hesitate to write down. Thanks for watching.